Welcome back into Wisconsin Women. We're filming in Oregon today at Peaceful Heart. Mm -hmm. Later in the program, we're going to learn how these bowls can sing. Right now, though, we're going to learn about some bling. We've got another great Oregon oh business. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting to talk to Jill Hoff, who is the owner of Bergie Jewelry. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thank you for having me. <laughs> I'm excited to learn a little bit about what you do. Let's first talk about how long you've been in business. My parents started Bergie Jewelry here in Oregon in 1972, and then um, I took over ownership from them in um, January, so almost two mm -hmm. years ago now. Wow, congratulations. Yes, very much so. Very mm -hmm. cool. So when it comes to custom, do you do that here? Yes, we do custom design. We have a local goldsmith that um, will do custom for us. And so if you have an idea, you can bring it in. If you don't have any ideas, we can you know, help you kind of look through catalogs and kind of get an idea of what you'd like to do. Um, and then we also work with some larger shops that can do the um, CAD as well, which would be with computers, so they have a little mm -hmm. more flexibility and they can make just about anything for you f using the CAD. Technology is amazing. Yeah. It is really changing the jewelry industry. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, I took a peek at your website and you really have a nice range of, of selection, whether it's custom made things or of course wedding engagement, that sort of thing. Even logo art, I thought that was interesting. Mm. If you want a special piece to mm -hmm. commemorate your team or something like that, I thought that was really, really different and okay. kind, of, yeah. kind of cool. I, I'm wondering if you, I saw that you buy gold, so do you buy and sell used jewelry too? Yep, so if you have any anything that you don't wear anymore, something that's not your style, a lot of times people inherit jewelry mm -hmm. that, you know, it's just not something they'd wear. Um, so we'll buy any of anything, gold, silver, platinum, and then we have an estate case, so if the pieces, the used pieces that we buy are in good condition, we'll clean them up and resell them. Oh, that's interesting. That's very nice, yes. Wow. So even if, if the items are damaged, uh, like a broken necklace? Yep, so those then we send them into the refiner. So then it gets melted down and made into a new piece. Um, and the other pieces that are still in good condition, those ones will resell, and there's really good prices on the estate pieces. They're about half the price of a comparable piece would be brand new. I bet those are some interesting pieces that might come through now and again too. Yes. Yeah. And you really have to be an expert in a lot of areas in this <laughs> industry, especially with everything that you're doing under one roof. I know in the past we've talked a little bit about jewelry needing repair and I know I have definitely needed a couple of repairs on some <laughs> things. I'm hard on jewelry and we've, we've, I'm interested to know if you can work with somebody with those kinds of difficulties whether they got them at your store or not. Sure, yep, we repair jewelry um, if it was purchased at our store or not um, and we do clock and watch repair as well in addition to jewelry repair. So. Okay, so now I can be hard right. on my jewelry <laughs> and rocks and watches. Perfect. They got all together. Yeah, right? you got me covered. <laughs> when it comes to special events, do you have anything coming up? Yes, we have our annual girls' night out. We do Ooh. this event once a year. This is our 15th annual, mm -hmm. and this year we're, we're doing the um, bubbles and bling theme. So. Um, Sounds kind of good. Cute. Champagne right. and <laughs> diamonds. Yes. And, yeah. Take one. So what happens at this event? <laughs> um, the women come in and just a relaxing night and have refreshments and chair massages. And then oh. they can look at all the new pieces and make a wish list, fill out for the holidays, and then mm -hmm. their significant other can come in and make shopping easy then because we just pull out their wish list and show them what she likes. Everyone's happy. Right. Yeah. Everyone is happy, especially yeah. the guys, because it is hard to shop for, especially yes. some ladies out there. Mm -hmm. So the that's really is nice. very personal. It right. so is. Yeah. yeah, I love that idea. And a chair massage. Okay. I know. <laughs> yeah. Done. <laughs> Jill, we have uh, about 30 seconds left. I'm wondering, sure. trend-wise, what's going on in the jewelry world? A lot of what we're seeing at the buying shows that we go to is small, delicate, dainty pieces, mm -hmm. um, like the layered necklace wow, that I have beautiful. on today. Mm -hmm. Those are really popular with layering, and then yeah, just anything small, delicate. Yellow gold is also coming back. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're seeing a lot more yellow gold. So, so you are on trend. <laughs> and I am not. not. <laughs> It looks beautiful. Thank you so much Thank for you. being here. Congratulations on taking up your, your parents' already fabulous business. I yeah. know it'll be great success. Thanks, Jill, for Thank being you. here. Thank you. We'll be back with more Wisconsin Women.